What's going on all of my pre-healthcare bros and sisters? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today we are continuing on with our ATIT's question and review series, Like a Boss, and we're gonna be discussing evaluating and integrating data. Question one, climate. Africa, 722 to four. Antarctica, 765 to seven. Asia, 543 to seven. Australia, 669 to 70. Europe, 453 to five and 467. North America, 363, 379 to 81. South America, 497 to nine. Climate changes, 203 to 23. Which of the following resources would the above index most likely be found? Is it A, biology textbook, B, history textbook, C, ecology textbook, or D, chemistry textbook? And the correct answer is C, ecology textbook. Climate is a subtopic of ecology disciplines. Biology textbooks are more concerned with life processes, while history textbooks are more concerned with social and political events in the past. Chemistry textbooks are usually concerned with chemical processes, so choices A, B, and D would be incorrect. Question two, apple pie. Three cups all-purpose flour, one and one-fourth cup sugar, one cup butter, four to five Granny Smith apples, three egg yolks, one lemon, a fourth of a cup cold water, three tablespoons of heavy cream, and one tablespoon of cinnamon. Are the ingredients in the recipe above suitable for an individual with diabetes? Is it A, yes, because egg yolks are a staple of any diabetic diet? B, yes, because diabetes is a disorder in which the body requires extra sugar ingestion. C, no, because diabetics are allergic to products containing fruit. Or D, no, because the ingredients include sugar, which is not appropriate for people with diabetes. And the correct answer is D, no, because the ingredients include sugar, which is not appropriate for people with diabetes. Diabetics produce insufficient insulin to break down sugar, so their sugar intake should be limited. The apple pie recipe calls for one and one fourth cup of sugar, which would not be suitable for diabetic. Using the same recipe, which of the following cookbooks are you most likely to find a recipe using the ingredients above? Is it A, Halloween candies and confections? B, egg-based entrees for entertaining? C, healthy living for longevity? Or D, delicious desserts to die for? And the correct answer is D, delicious desserts to die for. Apple pie is a dessert and would likely be included in the cookbook about desserts. Choice A is incorrect because apple pie is not a candy and is not traditionally served at Halloween. Choice B is incorrect because while the recipe calls for eggs, apple pie is not considered an egg-based dish such as a quiche and is not an entree or a main dish. Choice C is incorrect because while apples are healthy, an apple pie made with sugar would not be considered to be a particularly healthy dish. A woman is concerned that her dog's leg might be broken. Which resource should the woman consult? Is it A, a website about pet care? B, a zoology textbook? C, an anatomy textbook? Or D, the yellow pages under V for veterinarian? And the correct answer is D, the yellow pages under V for veterinarian. An animal's broken bones require a veterinarian for treatment. All of the other options given are too broad and would be inappropriate for a dog owner to consult in helping treat a major injury. Marcia decided to run a trail 3.5 miles every other day and to run a different path 3.9 miles on her days off. The information below demonstrates the number of miles she ran over two weeks' time. Sunday, 3.5. Monday, 3.9. Tuesday, 3.5. Wednesday, 3.9. Thursday, 3.9. Friday, 3.5. Saturday, 3.9.
week two, Sunday 3.5, Monday 3.9, Tuesday 3.5, Wednesday 3.9, Thursday 3.9, Friday 3.5, and Saturday 3.9. How many times did Marcia run a trail and how many times did she run a path? A, Marcia ran a trail five times and a path nine times. B, Marcia ran a trail six times and a path eight times. C, Marcia ran a trail eight times and a path six times. Or D, Marcia ran a trail seven times and a path seven times. And the correct answer is B. Marcia ran a trail six times and a path eight times. The information demonstrates that Marcia ran 3.5 miles six times. The trail is 3.5 miles long, so she ran a trail six times. She ran 3.9 miles eight times, so she ran the path eight times. Using that same example, how many times did Marcia deviate from her typical routine? A, one. B, two, C, three, or D, four? And the correct answer is B, two. The information demonstrates that Marcia deviated from her usual running schedule twice, both on Thursday. The other day she adhered to her usual schedule. Using the same example, which of the following is a true statement based on the information? Is it A, Marcia ran the trail two more times than she ran the path? B, Marcia ran the path and the trail an equal number of times. C, Marcia ran the path two more times than she ran the trail. Or D, Marcia ran the path three more times than she ran the trail. And the correct answer is C, Marcia ran the path two more times than she ran the trail. The information demonstrates that Marcia ran the path eight times and the trail six times. Therefore, she ran the path two more times than she ran the trail. Moving on to our last question. Which of the following resources would be most helpful in finding the length of the car? Is it A, a protractor, B, a ruler, C, a yardstick, or D, a calculator? And the correct answer is C, a yardstick. A car can be best measured with a yardstick which is 3 feet or 36 inches long. A ruler is too small at 12 inches, a calculator is used to calculate, and a protractor is used to measure angles. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.